part six of uh, Haiku, Stephen Odis, The Pulse of Nature, a connecting poem. It's a cool summer morning. Cool summer morning and the lights are out. So we read summer coolness. Lantern out, the sound of water. Shiki. Summer rain, secretly one evening, moon in the pines, Ryota. The bat's secret home, a tattered hat. The bat, secret home, a tattered hat. Busan. You wouldn't have guessed that one. Evening glories, the cat chewing the flower has its mind elsewhere. Do you think the cat's thinking of something else while it's chewing on the flower? Think of a mouse. <laughs> think of a mouse. Another this cat needs, they, it's like they need mindfulness training because they're not paying attention to what they're doing. They're thinking of a mouse. Evening glories. The cat chewing the flower has its mind elsewhere. And the analyst is Busan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cat, uh, a strange critter. His mind is on the mouse. <laughs> Among the ears of Bali, are you hiding your tail, old fox? Among the ears of Barley, are you hiding your tail, old fox? Teshi. We haven't heard of Teshi. We don't know. Teshi is another poet. This is an anthology of haiku poets, so it's wandering around. The coming of autumn, determined by a red dragonfly. Hmm. Why does he determine it? I guess he comes out. The coming of autumn, determined by a red dragonfly. I guess. I think it's just a sign. Yeah, there's timing in nature, huh? especially with bugs and everything. Mm -hmm. The bug seasonal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The stars have already opened their autumn eyes. Now the stars are opening to autumn. That's unusual. The stars have already opened their autumn eyes. I suppose the, the celestial sky will also change. That's Koyo, another unknown poet that is unknown to us. <laughs> Does that make him unknown? <laughs> Well, he's not unknown, absolutely, but he's unknown to us. <laughs> but now he's more known. <laughs> Koyo. There's quite a few poets here. At early autumn, the evening shower becomes a night of rain. Early autumn, the evening shower becomes a night of rain. I guess the evening shower went on all night. <laughs> and that's te Tegi. Another one. Autumn begins, ocean and fields, all one green. Autumn begins. The, now the ocean and fields all one green. Could the fields and the ocean be all green? I guess it could be. Basho. Mm -hmm. Cool. Early autumn, peering through willows, the morning sun. Early 
early autumn, peering through willows, the morning sun. You think the sun peers through willows. That one is Saidi. Another one we don't know much about. Saidi. S E I B I. I could see it peering through the willows. Things, yeah. yeah, it's good imagery. Mm -hmm. Morning glories, blown to the ground, bloom as they are. Hmm. Oh, they could bloom just be pushed down, right? Or have you seen flowers that push mm -hmm. down? They could be blown and they still bloom. Didn't we see that by the highway, the flowers were blown apart <laughs> and they still bloom. Even though the cars pushed them all to the side, they still bloom. Morning glories, blown to the ground, bloom as they are. Isha. Which nature is persistent and continuous despite harsh conditions. As dew dip drips gently, gently, the dove murmurs its chant. As dew drips gently, gently, the dove murmurs its chant. Isha. As dew drips gently, gently, the dove murmurs its chant. You know how doves like make this like um, rumbling thing, like they, what is the noise they make? They're like humming or something. They make some sort of rumbling noise. It's not very good. Yeah, you don't like the sound. It's not high pitched, I don't think. I don't know. Grasses and trees all waiting for the moon. Dewy evening. Now we're back to the moon. Grasses and trees all waiting for the moon. Dewy evening. So now <laughs> everyone's waiting for the moon. And the poet? Is a classic one. Soji, Soji. He's back. He's more of Segil's era. Admired by Basho. Mm -hmm. We're reading from the haiku. Anthology of Japanese Poetry by Stephen Edis of Miyamamoto and uh, from Simply E, New York Public Library. Hmm. Now we have white dew on brambles and thorns, one drop each. Oh, so now the brambles and thorns have only one drop each. <laughs> white dew, and it's also white. White dew on brambles and thorns, one drop each. So these guys, they looked at nature and they counted the drops of dew. Does that mean you have to look closely? <laughs> and the author is Busan. <laughs> so Busan takes the prize <laughs> for looking. <laughs> we have a lot of poets in this reading. On blades of grass, frolic and roll on pearls of dew. <laughs> On 
and blades of grass frolic and roll on. Pearls of dew. Now the pearls of dew are frolicking. <laughs> they do frolic, don't they? Hmm. Now this poet is Ram Set Su. Never heard of him. R A N S E T S U. Huh. You see, the more we study haiku, the less we seem to know. Because <laughs> how come we're encountering all these unknown poets to us? Hmm? That's kind of proof that we don't know haiku. <laughs> That we've proven that we don't know anything. <laughs> What's up? This is going so. Remember, we had the, uh, in part one, we had part three, we had the haiku uh, jeopardy, where you were guessing. Yes. Yeah, haiku true. guess jeopardy. <laughs> we may have that again. Huh? The haiku game show. Uh, now we have do cooling things with shapes all alive. The do is do cooling things with shapes all alive. The do is cooling things now. I guess it does that though, right? Mm -hmm. Do cooling things with shapes all alive. Now it's Kijo, another poet. K I. J O Kijo. Now this one, its face looks like a horse, the grasshopper. Hmm. Its face looks like a horse, the grasshopper. And this poet is called Anonymous. <laughs> I will never know that one. <laughs> we didn't know that poet. <laughs> I suppose a grasshopper could look like a horse if you think about it. Yeah, it does look a little like a horse. You could do an artwork where you have like a horse with a grasshopper head. Yeah. You could make a grasshopper horse. <laughs> Maybe you could ride the grasshopper. <laughs> Maybe the answer is grasshoppers. <laughs> yeah, we should get some grasshoppers here. You want to get grasshoppers? Mm -hmm. Now we have dragonfly on the rock, absorbed in a daydream. Here we need dragonflies. Here's a dragonfly on the rock, absorbed in a daydream. They do look like they're in daydreams sometimes. Sometimes they just sit there. They do. They don't. And that is Santoka, another poet. S A N T O K A. Santoko. Now we have another dragonfly. The dragonfly cannot come to rest. On the blades of grass. <laughs> Probably true, you can't, they're too heavy, right? The dragonfly cannot come to rest on the blades of grass. Basho. Hmm. We're going to have to stop again. Where we are reading part six of Haiku. Strategy of Japanese Poetry by Stephen Edison Yamamoto, the section on the pulse of nature.